hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please check out my channel for other updates so the last update about twist of fate palavi cries bitterly after ria accused her of being a bad mother and ria and alia decided to kill prachi and end that story forever then rambu also got angry with her parents for always not supporting prachi let's continue rambu got angry with prachi prachi calls him to wait as he goes out from the room Shahana tells grandma that Rhea has won. Grandma says, if I say that all this is happening for good, then will you believe me? Grandma says that Rambu got angry and vent out his emotion. She says Prachi's emotion would have been out too if Rambu had gotten less angry. She says we will do the puja today and we all know that Rambu will be happy with Prachi and vice versa. Shahana says that Rambu and Prachi will stay together happily only when Rhea goes away from here. Grandma says Rhea will go away with her aunt. Rambu thinks of Prachi and his moment with her, walking somewhere. Prachi recalls Rambu tying the only thread on her hand, a song plays in the background. Prachi says, I cannot do this anymore. Rambu says, I am tired of doing all those things. I can request you, but I cannot beg in front of you. He says, I will prove and I will not become guilty for the crime which I haven't done. Aliyah and Rhea comes to Nick's house. Nick looks at them. Aliyah asks, will you not identify us? Rhea reminds him that Pretty works in their house. Nick says he knows them. Aliyah and Rhea get into Nick's house. Rhea looks at his house. Aliyah says we have to get our work done. Rhea tells Nick that they heard that he was caught by the police for theft. He asks them not to fire Pretty for that. Aliyah reminds him that she gave him 10,000 rupees and asks him to return the favor. Nick says the time came so soon. Rhea asks what was the amount for which he went to jail. Nick says not a big amount and says it is 3,000. Rhea asks if he would do someone's mother in 6,000. Nick asks mother. He says whose mother? Prachi is standing on the terrace and talks to her baby. She says they used to look at the moon together when they used to stay in a rented house. She says everything is the same, but your father is not with us. He is changed. She feels pain and asks what happened if he or she got angry suddenly and felt bad as I talk bad about your father. Prachi says to her unborn baby that you are connecting with your father even before your birth and asks the baby to be like her and says she will never leave him or her and she cannot wait to see him or her. She says it will be a beautiful day for me and I will tell the truth to your father. She says sometimes I feel that he cares for me and sometimes not. She says he has confused me. Rambu comes home and collides with grandma. He says sorry and goes. Shahana asks Grandma to talk to Rambu and Prachi. Grandma says, I need to give the puja sari to Palavi, and she thinks that it is her duty to show the right direction to her. Rambu comes to the terrace and drinks beer. Prachi looks at him and asks, why didn't you stop when I asked you? Rambu says, why should I stop when you couldn't answer me? He says, why should I answer you? Prachi says, I don't want to go with you. She says she doesn't want to go away from her family and says, I know the feeling. Everyone becomes a stranger. Rambu says, your thoughts are good. Nobody can undo relationship than you, but you don't care about me. Rambu says, I am not in that countdown and says, when you returned, I thought you just remember our love. He says, when you returned, you have said that you will snatch my peace and happiness and says you have won. Rambu says, this is all you wanted. You have ruined my condition and asks if she wants to worsen his condition more. Rambu says, I will be the same Rambu Koli. The youngest business tycoon, he says, do whatever you want. Rhea can do whatever she wants, and even mommy too. He says he will just do the work and he will not care for anyone. Prachi says you are drunk and says we will talk tomorrow. Rambu says I am not drunk. Prachi asks him not to drink and says she doesn't like that. Rambu says I was mad. He says today, I came to know who had loved truly and who had acted. He says I wanted to prove my innocence and I cannot stay in this dirty environment. Rambu says, I don't want dirty accusations on me, and says you are free from my end, and says I have given your happiness back to you. Finally, you will be happy and free. Prachi is shocked. A song plays in the background. Nick asks Aliyah about who he is murdering. Rhea shows Prachi's picture. Nick says, I have seen her somewhere before. Aliyah says she stays in our house. Nick asks why. Rhea says, you don't need to know and says we will help you and that is why you will not be caught. Nick says there will be crowd in the house tomorrow. Aliyah says we would help you. Rhea says your work will be done easily. Nick says if the murder was easy, 
then half of the population wouldn't have been there. He says if it was easy, then you could have murdered her at night. Nick says if I get caught, then I'll be in jail all my life. He says his mind works faster and says he is not a professional killer. He says his mommy wanted him to become an engineer, but he is a taxi driver and he has talent to hide the secret. He says think about yourself. If you get caught, then what will you do? Nick demands for 8000 Aliyah negotiates with Nick and fixes the deal at 7000 Ria says the murder should look like an accident. Nick says I could do this for 3000 but doing it for 7000 Aliyah says if we give you 3000 only. Nick says then he will not do the work. Ria says they will give him the money. Nick asks if they have Chandelier even now and asks her to meet Prachi for the last time. Prachi tells Shahana that she will remember whatever Rambo said and says that he told her that he freed me of all his love and relationship. She says I was thinking to unite with him since few days and says maybe it was our mood swings. It is good that I did not say anything to him while flowing in emotions. Shahana says the truth will not change and says Rambo is innocent and he is grinded between the family. Prachi says Rambo cannot prove himself innocent in front of me. Now I can surely say that he and Rhea consummated their marriage. Prachi tells Shahana that Rambo can prove himself innocent and clear in front of the world, but now I can surely say that he has moved on in his relationship with Rhea. Shahana tells Prachi that she has told her about Rhea giving Rambo medicine. Prachi says who knows who had kept the medicines in Rhea's room. Many guests had come that day. Shahana says to Prachi that I never thought you would be so negative. Prachi says I am realistic and not negative and I cannot give clean shit to him. Shahana says if Rambo proves that all the accusations on him was wrong, if you come to know that whatever he said was because he was broken and that you are the one whom he loves, what would happen? Prachi says if Rambo proves that Ria had added tablets in his drink, if he proves that he loves me even till now, if he proves that nobody was between us and will never come between us, then I promise that I will convince him and I will fight with him, not because of my love, but because he is my baby's father. She says this can happen only when he makes his slate clear. Shahana says this will be proved that it was Ria who is really guilty. Prachi says if there is any truth in this, then Ria will see my avatar, which even I haven't seen. She walks out of the terrace. Palabi recalls Rambo's words that she should not accuse Prachi's character and that he regrets daily. Grandma comes there and calls Palavi. Palavi says you have come to tell me that my behavior was not right with Prachi. I shouldn't have told all that to her. Grandma says I have come here to tell you that the puja would happen when you say and for that I came to give you the sari. Grandma says that parents can do many mistakes but they don't make mistakes for their children. She says whatever I am saying today for Prachi and Rambro, I used to say it for Vikram and you. She says I am your mother-in-law too. And my responsibility is to support you whenever you are right. Grandma says that it is our responsibility to keep their bond united and not to disturb them. Palavi asks, do you think that I am disturbing them? Grandma says you have failed to become a good mother-in-law and asks her to do something to prove herself as a good daughter-in-law. Palavi says you know who my daughter-in-law is. Grandma says I know who is your legal daughter-in-law and asks her to get ready. Vikram comes to Rambro. Rambo says, I thought to do work here, as I had so much work. He asks, how come you are here and asks if mommy sent you out and vent out her anger on you. Vikram asks Rambo to say what is wrong and says, I am your father. Rambo recalls his conversation with Ria and Prachi and asks, what do you want to know? How come I came here and why I came here in this situation? Vikram asks Rambo to speak. Rambo says, people will blame you as I came to sleep here due to you. He says, I realized true love seeing Prachi, then we got married. He says, then I have to marry Ria, and Prachi returned. Rambo says, I always thought that my fight with Prachi will be resolved in two minutes, but the fight between us is not the usual ones, and there is no improvement in our relationship. We fight a lot, and this process goes on. He says, I don't know if our lives are upset with us or our relationship. Vikram says, if there is fight in a relationship, then there is love, expectation, and frustration, and this means that the love is there in their relationship. He asks, did you see if any couple is in love without fight? And says that means that their relationship is not stable. He tells him that Pallavi and my relationship went through the same phase, 
and asks if he wants to fight with Rhea. Rambo says no and says I avoid Prachi whenever she start fighting. Vikram says exactly. This means that you have feelings for Prachi and that is why you fight with her. He asks him to sleep and says sorry to her even if it is a mistake and says what matters is that you both are together. Vikram says bye. Rambo says Rhea is in my room and that is why I am here. Vikram goes. Rambo thinks that his father did not understand him well. Prachi asks the priest if Suji Kaval should be made for Prasad. The priest asks her to bring the Kaval Prasad. Prachi says okay. She sees Palavi and asks her not to take Rambo's words on art and says he loves and respects you a lot. Palavi asks Alia to tell Prachi that Rambo is her son and she doesn't need a certificate on what he wants to say and asks her to tell her strictly not to come between them. Alia asks, did you understand? Prachi says, I just want to say that Rambo loves you a lot and she goes. Palavi goes to the priest. The priest asks for ghee. Pretty brings the ghee. Palavi asks Pretty to go and see the arrangement. Shahana comes to Prachi and says, you are looking good. She says everything will be fine. Prachi says she won't let Rambo be peaceful with Rhea until he proves his innocence. Shahana thinks that she will not let Rambo sit with Rhea for the puja. The priest asks Palavi to call Vikram so that the married couple can do the puja. Palavi says my son and daughter-in-law will do the puja. Grandma thinks that Prachi and Rambo will be the one to do the puja and ask Shahana to come with her. Ali sees the guard coming and asks him to inform the CCTV footage guy not to bring it as the puja is going on. He says okay. Halia thinks to inform Rhea that she is going to sit with Rambo for the puja. Vikram asks Rambo to live his life to the fullest and regret to make him workaholic. Jai comes there and greets Vikram and Rambo. Vikram asks if Jai came to do the work here or to attend the puja. Jai says Rambo always make me do work. Shahana and Grandma go stuck in seeing Prachi. Shahana says we should tell Prachi. Grandma says we cannot tell Prachi that the priest wants Rambo to sit with his wife. But Aliyah wants Rhea to sit with him. Prachi says she heard them acting like children and indirectly telling her what to do. Grandma says, I told Shahana that we should tell everything to Prachi. She says, sorry. Prachi says, I will not let Rhea take my place. Never. Aliyah comes to Rhea and tells her that the priest said that a married couple should sit for the puja. Rhea says, only I will sit and asks, how is she looking? Aliyah says, good. Rhea says, God should think that we are made by him. Aliyah gets emotional and says she wants to apply black tikka to her so that nobody's bad side falls on her. Rhea says Prachi's black magic is on Rambo. Aliyah says today everything would end and asks her to shed some fake tears for Prachi and console Rambo. Rhea says I want Rambo to cry heavily for Prachi. Aliyah calls Nick and tells Rhea that the ayah that's her sin is coming. Rhea says she did not want to do this but Prachi made her ruthless from being a sister and she is going to become a devil from a darling sister just because of Prachi. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like my video, share it, and please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.